Welcome to How to ABX. It is Silent Season 919 2023, and it is Combat Female Day. We'll be using She Hulk. Her rotation's pretty easy. You're going to use your six in place of your four every other rotation. You start out with the four. The delay on the three is wait until she punches. So you're going to do a three punch, two, five, four, nice and tight, nice and quick. Let your four finish off. As soon as you land from your four, go ahead and do your one. And then you're going to do a three, five, a three, two, five, six, and you let your six finish out. Every so often, your procs will fall off, but your six should usually bring it back on course. Let me go ahead and show you that in action. You can cancel today with your four and six, so you don't necessarily need to do a swap cancel today. And since she's on a tier four, you can't use your striker cancel. So we're going to run up. We're going to do a punch with three, two, five, four, nice and tight. Let that four finish. And there's the land, and then one. Okay, and then we're going to wait a second. Three, punch, two, five, six. Let that six burst. You'll see right here land and then a burst and then you can do your three again if you want two five four i did slip a one in there because i did the punch a little bit on the early side but we'll work with it all right see there's that early proc but watch this two five six six will uh, allow it to proc during the six so it kind of pulls it back on par getting them close together three two five four I have my procs off pretty bad right now, but they'll, they'll get back. So, three, two, five. I'm going to go ahead and do the four there. But what we really want is the six, so I'm going to do a delayed six just to get that cancel off. This is where we have to be slightly adaptive with how we play. Three, two, five, four. Not ideal, but, you know, we'll work with it. Okay, three, two, five, six. And our procs are back on. <clears throat> Wait for my five, three, two, five, four. Land there, and then one. Three punch, two, five, six. And remember, 126 during silent season is that second roar, so he's going to jump center in a second. We'll cancel with the four this time. As soon as he's targetable, three, two, five, four. Four is a little delayed on the cancel. But you can still pull it off. Do the one as the filler. Three punch. Two, five, six. All right. I'm going to slip a one in. Three, two, five, four. Since I was procking a little bit early, I already knew it was going to happen because damage was still being dealt. Three, two, five, six. Slipping a one, three, two, five, four. Thirty-eight's the next roar, so we'll cancel with the six this time. As soon as he's targetable, we're gonna do a three, two, five, six. At the beginning of the six is that cancel. Make sure you don't do six too too early there to make sure you can get your cancel off still. Three, two, five, four. I mean the rotation's easy, it's just keeping the procs on. I find it to be a pain in the butt. Alright, three, two, five, six. So the proc should come sometimes during the six, but obviously keeping your procs on is preferred. You just work with what you get. And four, there's the proc, nice. Yeah, I probably should hit closer to uh, 10 million instead of 9 million, but 9.5 million is not terrible today. We're talking about a tier three character. The nine, five, eight, five, one, nine, two. All right, let's talk about my account, the team I'm using, why I'm using it make recommendations for alternatives, and then we'll wrap up the video. Uh, so to begin with, I always show my cards. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that. They're, they haven't changed since the last couple videos. Pause it if you want to read it in more detail. Uh, here are my X swords. Those have not changed either. All right, going right to She-Hulk. Or Skull, because sometimes people will call her as a nickname. So you want the Marvel Studios She-Hulk turning at law, regardless of what you think of the TV show, it is the best uniform for her. Um, with that, this is what the rotation works with. I think Rage is the best. I don't really recommend using something like an Energy. It doesn't feel very proc friendly to me. It's very hard to keep the procs on. So you definitely want a Rage or at least an Anger proc if you're going to run this. Rage is better. I have the Rage rolled up to a .9. I've got a Mythic uniform. Here are the uniform options. You can kind of pause it and reread those uniforms, but I'm just going to go through them kind of quick. You can also look those up online. 
<clears throat> don't know why I keep showing them, but I do. She has a Justice artifact. She has Power of the Angry Hulk. As long as your ISO 8 sets an attack set, and all of your ISO 8s are six red stars, you're in good shape. Just kind of build your character based upon what your character needs. But Poa, Hawkeyes, or Overdrive are all fine attack sets. Skills are all maxed out. All of our gear here is not amplified, but I do have Odin's... No Odin's Blessings on her, but I do have Uru's. Um, at least five star Uru's on all the slots, which is important to do for your character. And then here is her overall stats. So, not terribly built, but honestly not that great of a build either. Uh, however, she is better than Civ, so I've been using her instead of Civ. So, let's talk about alternate options and what team I have and why I chose the team that I did. So to begin with, She-Hulk has her own leadership, 65% damage dealt. I consider damage dealt one of the best in the game, supporting her with both Civ and Valkyrie. So Valkyrie here has her passive ability. Just by being on the team, all allies are getting 35% ignore dodge and 55% damage dealt because we're talking villains here. And uh, also basic decreases basic damage received. I don't know if that really helps that much. I don't think it reduces how much damage you lose when you get hit. Um, or reduces your score. Uh, if you're hit by a meteor, it kind of just takes down your bonus, but the damage you receive doesn't actually subtract like it does in ABL, so it doesn't really make that big of a difference in my opinion. Civ doesn't have any passives. Now, her leadership is not bad, but it's not as good as She-Hulk's self-lead. The reason I have Civ on the team is Ausgard Invasion has a uniform option for all allies, increases speed by 10%, which is okay, but it's the damage dealt for 45%. So we're double supporting She-Hulk here. Uh, Civ is an alternative with this uniform, but she was scoring like 7 million to 8 million for me. So She-Hulk does well over a million more, which is why I started using She-Hulk and gave her a rage instead. Uh, other options for today, if you don't have She-Hulk for some reason, even though I still think she has one of the best leaderships for ABX today specifically, you could use Crescent's leadership. At one time, Crescent was actually pretty decent, but She-Hulk's new uniform is better than Crescent. You could also use Titania. She also has a self-lead, but the self-lead from She-Hulk is better, and She-Hulk does better damage than Titania. Titania is actually a great swap option if She-Hulk can't cancel. And on, um, what was last season? Burn season, I actually do do a swap cancel into Titania, who I also gave a rage to. But you could also use her leadership. X-23 with this uniform, uh, all-new Wolverine, is not too terrible of an option, but I would probably go with She-Hulk or Titania for today. I would probably follow that with uh, Civ, Valkyrie, and then Crescent. So you do have a lot of options. Everyone's kind of mediocre besides, I mean, even She-Hulk is kind of on the mediocre side compared to what most people do in ABX. So we definitely need a better combat female. Uh, but yeah, Valkyrie, best support, hands down. Civ, if you have her uniform, is the second best support. So you can double support any self-leadership character. If you want to use She-Hulk as the lead and then throw in another character to swap to if they're built and you have them powerful enough, you can consider doing that. Uh, but I consider this to probably be the best team, in my opinion, for today. So hopefully that was helpful. May your ABX scores be as high as possible, and I'll catch you in the next one.